Hi, I'm Katie. I'm here with the customer success team of Tyrannus. I'm out here scouting with some growers, working through their fields, and helping them see some of their recent insights. So I'm up here in northern Michigan, and this is one of the growers' more productive fields, so we want to come out here and take a look at it. If you take a look at this map right here, you'll see that we are in front of one of the bigger portions of the field. Now first, before we start walking out in this corn, so this is not really tall. I'm a five foot tall person and it's already, you know, getting past my head and as we go out further, it's gonna be way past my head. It's 86 degrees out here, it's 56% humidity, it's hot, it's miserable, it's a 70 acre field and I do not want to walk any more than I have to right now. So I wanna know where am I going, why am I going there, and what decisions are we gonna make that's gonna help this crop go forward. Okay, so I moved to a different portion of the field right now. So as you can see from this map right here, I'm in the wrong section of the field. If I just kept walking and walking, I probably wouldn't find any diseases. In reality, I need to head to the smaller portion so that I can go and find those diseases. And right now, Tyrannus is saying there's a little bit of northern corn leaf blight. Over the past few seasons of working with Tyrannus, I have been seeing some correlations with northern corn and some other diseases. So it's a really important disease to find early on, especially when the corn's this high because we can still get some sprayers in here and still make some decisions on time. So let's head to that portion of the field. All right, so we moved to the next portion of the field. I'm here with my coworker, Ido, and we have pinpointed the point that we want to go to which as you can see again right here and we are going to walk straight back through this corn which is going to be above my head at some point way back there and we're going to see what kind of uh, disease we can find maybe it's northern northern corn leaf blight or maybe it's something else but here we go okay we've tracked ourselves into the spot as you can see we are right where that image was taken from the last flight two days ago and in a lot of the corn that's near us it could be a little bit of northern corn i mean if you start looking down here we've got some lesions that are in the leaves um but i'm seeing a lot of burning on the outer edges of the leaves so i'm not sure exactly what happened on this field i'm gonna report back to the grower show him some of these images that i'm gonna take add a note and connect share it to him and he'll be able to see it real time and we'll be able to uh, help determine what may have happened if it was chemical damage of some sort or if we truly have northern corn so you can see on some of the lower leaves even there's some lesions happening on the leaves but like i said tarana shows you what's out there what you might not know is happening in your fields and by using the mobile app, we're able to walk directly out where those images were taken, where no air is moving back here, and we can help make more decisions throughout the season and make plans for next year. So tune in later.